we are. Hello. Um, <clears throat> I, I, uh, I work at a job. <laughs> and, and my boss drives and, me. And, 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 and this is a place of employment that someone cared about long before I joined it. This is a, this is a place where momentum was going and, and it offered an opportunity to, for me to dovetail right where I am. We're just trying to get a little wobble free going. Gotcha. Gotcha. Before. <laughs> my <laughs> boss drives me crazy. Well, that was really what I was going to say is, yeah. is <laughs> he just drives me nuts. <laughs> Esther told someone the other day, and she really meant it. In order for you to drive someone crazy, they have to be on the edge. On the edge of crazy. Oh, yes. Gotcha. On the edge of crazy. Yes. You yes, have to be yes. really near the edge of crazy for someone else to put you over the edge. Yeah. Okay. Sort of co-creation at its best, don't you think? Makes sense. <laughs> yep. Makes sense. So, so what do you think? What do you think? Now we could talk about your boss and all the things that he does that drive you crazy, but there's no power for you in that. No. So what do you think is happening in your vibration that causes you to match up with that aspect of him? First of all, do you think he's always in the drive someone crazy mode? Does he just stay there? Drive crazy, drive crazy, drive crazy, drive crazy, drive crazy. And anybody, anybody that comes into his trap gets driven crazy. <laughs> Or do you think sometimes he's not in the let me drive someone crazy mode? Sometimes he's not, yeah. So what's up with you? Rendezvousing with the, <laughs> rendezvousing with the he drives me crazy mode. <laughs> Have you seen glimpses of anything other than that in your boss? Uh, does he seem intelligent? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Has he got it going on business-wise? Yes, he does. Does he seem like he cares about his business? Yes. Has absolutely. he provided a stable environment in which you can earn income? Yes. What is your problem? <laughs> we, we, we know. I know. I know. Richard, we, are, we are only playing with you mostly sort of kind of. <laughs> so, do we need to say more? I don't think so. Well, it's annoying to understand that, oh, no one likes to hear it. Esther argued with us a lot, especially in the beginning and yesterday. <laughs> she still frequent, frequently asks, do I really have to be the one who's always tending to my vibration? <laughs> Mommy, can't it be somebody else's fault occasionally? And we say no, 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 you, you, you get to choose what you focus on. And, but we will say, that the better practiced you are, the easier it is for you to practice upon the components of anyone or anything that serve you better, you see. So what, what do you think your relationship with this person is most activating within you? We'll say it in two or three ways so you can really hear it. What unresolved wobble do you think you've got going on in your vibration that he seems to amplify? I have to defend myself. So, 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 so it seems that it's there. So, so let's talk about the wobble at a little bit earlier wobble stage. Okay. I have to defend myself. So do you feel not heard? Do you feel misunderstood? Um, when you have to defend yourself, do you feel like you're right? Yeah. I, well, I feel like I don't want to get hurt. Hurt by being wrong yes so when you're wrong when you're wrong what's the downside of being wrong uh, Jerry always said well like the one-armed alligator wrangler we learn as we go <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> that's a really good point was, was how in what way could you be hurt we, we, we want to put a disclaimer here. Even though it totally looks like we're making fun of all of you, we are not. <laughs> In other words, we're just wanting to sort of jovially bring you into your awareness that it's all you, it's all you. So how, how, could, how could being found wrong hurt you? 
Well, I, I, it would make me, it would be like a lie that I'm less than what I really am. And, and, and I would be smaller than, I would, it'd be a lie. So, so, can you hear us when we say, and, and do you, is it a lie? In other like, words? Yeah, it's, well, it can't be true. It isn't true. Of course it isn't true. Yeah. So what you're saying is, I don't trust others' perspective of me. Uh-huh. I don't trust their perspective of me. And so, and so there's a big wobble in that because I want to be trusted, but I don't believe I will be. So do you see that the way you get someone to trust you is by stopping that wobble? I can, I can sense that. So what might you say? Let's just start like it's early in the day and it, it, it's like that in okay. this environment. Okay. Let's just, let's just proceed with some wobble free comments about your trustworthiness okay well I'm actually pretty good at what I do and I really do love myself and I I'm confident and I'm and I'm learning and I'm okay and I can forgive myself if if there's all right now those are all really good words but if if and and this is the wonderful thing about a boss that drives you crazy yes you see the universe does not hear what you say the universe hears what you mean yes. and you can't cover up your wobble with words uh -huh. so when you say I'm really good at what I do there wasn't very much wobble in that except when you put that I'm actually pretty good at what I do there was a little wobble in the actually okay. part but okay. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty good at what I do <laughs> not much wobble in that gotcha. but then when you went further when you went a little further the wobble got to be a little greater so let's let's start again okay. and let so so say some of that again more slowly okay. and let's stabilize okay. let's stabilize each point let's make sure that each of those things you say has no wobble in it before we proceed to the next and the next and the next and the next okay. so that when you show up with that boss who's <laughs> responding to your vibration he'll respond to the vibration you meant to project not to the one you're projecting by default that was really good wasn't it yeah. So, oh boss of mine who drives me crazy, you are a pure <laughs> reflector of how I really feel about myself. And I appreciate so much that you are reading me truly, but it's not going to last for long because I am changing the vibration of my being. And soon you will know me as my inner being knows me. Boss of mine, you will know me as my inner being knows me as soon as I know me as my inner being knows me. Gotcha. Beautiful. So when you feel discord, it's because you're not loving yourself like your inner being loves you. Right. So more accurate words would be, I want to love myself as I know the source within me does, but I'm not as practiced at it because I keep responding to conditions around me instead of to a vibration that I have deliberately established. Ooh, that's good, isn't yeah. it? All you have to do is meet up with someone who seems to be powerful. They're a teacher or maybe a parent or, or one of your peers, somebody that you respect and care about what they, what they think. And they stand as a condition that doesn't appreciate you because they're not in the mode of appreciating anybody. And you let them train you into the way you feel about you, but your inner being never yields to someone's negative thought about you. Gotcha. And when you do, there's discord in your vibration. Gotcha. So let's start the wobble free conversation again. I'm really good. I'm actually pretty darn good at what I do. What did you say next? I'm pretty well, darn good at what I do. I, I trust myself. I want to trust myself. I want to trust myself. I know that my inner being is with me and I'm, and I'm developing trust in myself because thought by thought, I'm feeling how the thought that I'm thinking feels. So when I say I love myself, I can feel that what I really want to say is I want to love myself, but I do have lovable characteristics. I'm reliable and I'm dependable and I care about what I do. And I've trained myself to be pretty good at what I do. And I'm a really good employee and I will serve this person. Well, it, it, it'll be a good, I was a good find for that person. Yeah. I know that I, yeah. I know that I am a good find for that person gotcha. and that person is a good find for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I want to believe that we are a good match. I do. I want to believe that we are a good match. I want to believe that we are a good match. Yeah. I want to believe that I want to believe that that we've come together for a really good reason. Yeah. I'm a good match. Yeah. I'm I I'm actually really good at what I do and I'm a good match for this and I'm a reliable person. I'm a good employee. I'm a good employee.
I'm, I'm glad that I'm here. Gotcha. What else? Now, yeah. there's no wobble in that. Right. You feel we, no, no wobble there. Did yeah. you get it? Yeah. No yeah. wobble. Yeah. Now what? And together, we both care about our clients. Now, there's no wobble there. Isn't that something? Yeah. We both care about our clients right. and I'm up closer to them. I'm up closer to them where I can really sense them. I'm getting a sense of what they want yeah. and I'm fixated on the, on what they really want. I'm single minded in helping them get to where they want to be. Yeah. And therefore my clients, our clients really trust me because they can feel, they can feel my undivided. Ever heard that? My undivided. Ever heard that before? Undivided. <laughs> attention on this they can feel my yeah. undivided attention yeah. uh, eventually I will be in another place I know I'm not gonna work here forever but oh this is such a good place for me to be right now such a really good place for me to be right now I like that there is someone who reflects back to me what I'm really feeling sort of a mirror I like that and it's fun it's fun to get control of my vibration and then watch how it manifests with those around me right yeah yeah doesn't that feel yeah, good it i'm just sort of eager to yep. get all clear and all happy and go to work and find a whole <laughs> new boss there yes <laughs> what did you do with my real boss <laughs> <laughs> thank you yes indeed thank you yeah. with regard to meditation can you give me some pointers on how to better quiet my mind the most important thing is to not beat up on yourself if you don't do that easily because you've trained your mind to be responsive and so now you're all of a sudden asking your mind not to be active and you're also asking it to ignore law of attraction and so both of those are sort of working against your intention right here but when you say something soft to yourself such as I'm just wanting to slow things down a little bit and just give myself a little respite and you realize that if you are able to quiet your mind if you're able to stop the thought you'll stop resistance and your vibration will rise then you've got good reason to want to do that but what we've noticed is you can't stop thinking about something that you've decided to stop thinking about because now you're thinking about that thing you don't want to think about and you've seen that happen the more you decide you're not going to do something the more you do it it's just vibrational universal response that's what law of attraction brings to you so what we have offered and we've noticed a lot of effectiveness with it is if, if you can find something to think about so that's why we say pick something sometimes you can listen to meditative music maybe that's good for you mm -hmm. Esther has done that we created a meditation CD and the reason that it was effective is because it has an odd breathing cadence to it it's five breaths in and three long breaths out and the time in and the time out are not the same so you have to focus because it's weird but to accomplish syncing with the music that's playing you have to focus on something that you haven't focused on before which means you got to pay attention to something here and when you pay attention to it in time you find yourself in cadence with the rhythm of the music and then in the background we are speaking to you depends on which one you've chosen there are different subjects we are speaking absolutely vibrationally accurate phrases to you so if you manage to sync your breathing with the rhythm of the music and it's subtle it's not obvious it's not in out in it's not like that it's subtle you have to focus but once you accomplish it oh you can get into that quieted mind and then the words that we are speaking to you that you are hearing can actually change your point of attraction on those subjects however equally effective in terms of quieting the mind is to listen you hear it and you're not thinking i've heard better